Hello everyone and welcome to our microgrid library tutorial. Today we're going to explain your PV plan from our microgrid library and uh, show us some examples. Here with me is our engineer Simisha. So Simisha, can you introduce yourself and tell us have you brought Hill with you and uh, we can start then doing uh, our simulations. Uh -huh. So hello everyone, my name is Simisha and I'm application engineer in Typhoon Hill. Today we show you uh, how to use uh, Hill schematic, where to find our microgrid components, where to find our microgrid examples, how to use our Hill SCADA, as well as how to create some grid faults and how to see the behavior of these faults. Okay, so we can open schematic editor and okay. explain the environment. Okay, so let's create a new uh, schematic. When we uh, want to create new schematic, first thing that we need to do is to make some settings. So the most important thing is that we choose Hill 604 uh, and configuration number one. So let's go next and finish. Okay. Can you just tell us, is this uh, uh, example model available uh, to be simulated just on Hill 604? Or it can be simulated on some other hills and mm -hmm. virtual hill maybe. Uh, yeah, there is a possibility also to use this hill on uh, to use this model on our uh, virtual hill as well as uh, on our, our other devices. Here on our left side we can see library example uh, and let's let's find uh, the PV plant. So to find that component it's pretty easy. Here uh, let's go to microgrid. Let's go to PV plant and let's use our PV plant switching. Okay, so easily just by drag and drop we can place our component in our schematic and uh, start building our system. Yes, the first thing that we need to do is to parameterize this component. To do that we need to just double click it and here we can find the main properties for this, for this component. Here are some uh, general properties, some filter properties, uh, some advanced and so on. To find more about this component, the best way is to use our help. Here we can find our help, so there is more information about structure and also more information about uh, inputs and outputs. Okay, so basically just by clicking on help, uh, you will generally get uh, uh, open our documentation and all detailed information about components you can find there. Yeah, let's see what is, what is uh, behind this component. So to see what is the, under the hood, uh, the best way to do that is go to uh, mask and use under, uh, look under the mask. So now we can see what is actually behind this component. Here on our left side we can see a DC link, we can see three phase inverter and uh, we can find here also a LCL filter and one contactor. So also uh, we can find here the difference between black lines and blue lines. So black lines are actually our uh, electrical part. So the main difference here is that the clients is they are executed on actually on FPGA chip, and the blue lines uh, they are actually executed on our uh, CPU. Okay, that's nice. So can you tell us uh, just more information about uh, three-phase inverter? Can you look uh, inside of that? Yeah. Component? So to to see what is what is inside, we, we can easily just double click it. On it. So in this case we use our uh, journal modulator, here we can uh, set some uh, carrier frequency, some dead time period, some reference signal minimum and maximum and so on. Uh, inside we can find also some measurements, so we can, we can uh, use a uh, checkbox to, to get uh, measurements from the, from the inverter to, to our model. There is some timing uh, and some losses. Uh, so we, we can use here help. Uh, it's good way. It's good way to to find out what is actually what is the topology of this inverter, and we can see here we can use we use some IGBTs to find some uh, some other some other properties for this component. We can find some predefined examples that we can use. Yeah, there is there is some example folder. So the best way to, to do this is way to find that is to go to file, open example model. Our model is in microgrid folder, so let's find a PV plant. So this is our example. So 
Uh, here we can find our PB plant, one transformer, and one uh, three-phase water source. Uh, let's compile this model and see how it behaves. Okay, so just to notify here, uh, we can press this button mm -hmm. for compile an open model in Hillscada. So automatically, after compilation is finished, we're gonna get our Hillscada open and can start doing some simulations. Yeah, let's see how, how that looks. This is Hillscada. Now we can see that it's uh, automatic, automatically open. So here on our left side, we can see some uh, widgets. There is some action widgets, monitoring widgets, data logging widgets, analysis, uh, connection, and visual. So by easy drag and drop, we can we can use one of these widgets. In this case, is some example of text display. So here we can use our API to set some some text. There is also possibility to, for example, display easily. Just find your the signal that you want to follow and just press it OK and that's it. So here we can find also some uh, model settings. In this way we actually control our parts of our uh, schematic. In this case there are some uh, sources, contactors, switching blocks and SCADA inputs.